I want to talk ticker IFUS, Impact Fusion International. Now, this is the three-year chart. And look, a little churning and burning here, you know, just like doing its thing. Nothing spectacular. But if you look at like the different plateaus, I'm looking at this right here and I'm looking at this section right here, you know, of, of where it sort of just hung out. And so when you when you break this down and this is the three or one week. All right. I'm just trying to give you a, a, like a macro view of this, you know, and, and looking at the chart, you know, I did see a lot of action going on here now. I'll be honest, I wanted to get in at 12.1. Um, I, I talked to the professor who is big on IFAS, Impact Fusion. Uh, and I'll tell you, he, I said, where would you throw bid support today? And he, I was thinking 12.1, and he goes, I would do 14.5. And I'm glad I did because I got filled at that 14.5, and it my, my order would not have grabbed. And so, you know, it's it's been quite a run. And so... Yeah, we had, uh, I know it's hard, a little hard to see here, but we had that cup and handle. I loved the action going on here. And let's go to the next chart, Rob, the next IFAS chart. We have uh, this guy right here. This is, that's right where the cup and handle, then you had all this consolidation, then boom, out of nowhere, you know, we have this nice thing happening. And I love, you know, this mark here, you know, 859, you know, you could put in a, a, a an order there, you know, whether or not it's going to fill or however many shares it gives you, that's that's one thing. But you know what? This thing is consolidating in that 9 to 11 range. And this thing's coiling like a snake. And the stock is nasty. This was at, you know, trip zeros years ago. Uh, but it's that it's not just that. It's not just the, 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 the chart here. The company is on fire. And the next couple months are going to be absolutely huge, um, especially in regards to their India dealings and supplying cattle. 500,000 cattle. And we're, I'm going to show you a clip in a second, but I, I just, I like, if, if I had to get in here, I'm looking at 10, I'm looking right there. It's, it, it's, it's, it's doing a nice job. It's coiling up nicely. Um, and so, you know, I'm very, very satisfied with, uh, uh, the stock price move, but I'm also satisfied with the clarity of the company. And I love what Mark Walther is doing. Uh, Rob, let's get uh, into the video. Uh, let's show that video clip of Mark Walther, on the BFC, this is a stock that I've covered a lot. But hey, we're we, we are up since I've covered it about five hundred percent. We were up uh, almost uh, nine hundred percent at one point, and the best is yet to come with this one. There's a lot of catalysts in the works, and after we do do IFIS, I'm going to have Nick Coriano on. So let's uh, check out that video clip. There's a worldwide hunger and worldwide starvation, and it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. And when you look at uh, uh, Brazil, they're holding back on any shipments of soy. And you look at China, they're the second largest next to Brazil in the amount of cattle that they have. And they're just importing, but not exporting. And when you look at uh, China, uh, China is, is uh, excuse me, I didn't mean to say China, India is, uh, is not shipping any more rice and period. So they're using it internally for their cattle. So the, the group that we're, we're talking to, they have access to what they tell me 65 sugar mills and i thought it was 30 and uh they also have uh milk cows about 500,000 of them so what they're looking to do is to feed these cows because there's not a lot of a lot of feed there's not a lot of grain I mean, ukraine is not making they're the they're the 40 percent of the grain is manufactured grown in in uh the Ukraine. I don't see anybody growing grain in, in Ukraine. They're in the army. So, um, so the fit is good. Um, they're shipping over some sample material for us because it's like I tell every customer, you have no value of what our product does until you use it. And it mm -hmm. doesn't take long, it just takes a couple of days and you'll start seeing these changes. And, uh, so, they're sending it over so we can make product with their bag ass and then ship it back to them. Uh, it'll only take me about an hour to process it, but it's, it's a key thing that they need to understand the value. And when you're dealing with anybody in a negotiation in anything, uh, customer or um, somebody you're, that you'd like to build a plant in their, their, their uh, country, they need to understand what the, what the uh, value is. And, uh, and I mean, so when they, you're talking about 65 sugar mills and 50,000 cattle. Now, I don't know if anybody can do the math. 
500,000. I'm sorry, 500,000 cattle. Um, numerically speaking, and, and f- from a profit perspective, I got to ask you, what is, is is the profit margin on if you, if you have that contract? And if, like you said, it was the sugar mill output's going to be more than double than what you expected. Um, like the profit margin you, you explained last time are, are huge. So, mm-hmm. so what are we looking at numbers wise, give or take? Um, if we, you know, if, if things go forward as we're hoping is going to happen. You know, I, I can't really tell you because we don't really know. Uh, they wanted to come over and see our footprint. I showed them. I'm not showing them what is in Nutramastic. I never will. That's, that's a key ingredient in what we make. Uh, the technology that's in our machine, eh, they're not going to know that either. Hmm. Uh, so what is the profit going to be? It's going to depend on uh, sell prices. It's going to depend on what part of the the chain of revenue that we get involved in. And I want to make sure our, our shareholders that we make a lot of money on this. And so there's just all that conversation that has to be done. It's not going to happen overnight. And uh, but what I like about it is they have the contacts. It's not mm-hmm. just talking about it. They have the contacts. So if you have the raw, some of the raw material uh, like bag ass and you're you're producing. Well, let's say you're producing. uh like we do here, our plant, our footprint has the ability to produce $135 million worth of product. Mm. And that's at $150 a bale. So ultimately, what can we create over there? Don't know yet. And like any deal, it could work until it doesn't work. And so I honestly think IFAS is a buy. I love the consolidation here. You know, I I know you like IFAS too. You're you're very happy about the stock and and the company and what they're doing.